Is he ready to go home? One more day driving. One more see you. This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. My name is Maddie Stoltman. Um, we are on the road. Hi, Dally. We are headed back to the Northwest. So by the time you guys are watching this, I will be almost home. Uh, Tuesday evening, we'll be rolling back into Ellensburg. So as much as I love being on the road and getting to go and tour around a barrel race, it's always nice to get to go home. So I'll show you guys all about our amazing time in Oklahoma at the Pink Buckle. Not too sure yet. set up. You guys my gym coaches? <laughs> Getting ready for tomorrow. VF Born for Glory. Maddie Stoltman, Ellensburg, Washington, owns and rides this 2013 Buckskin Gelding by Born to be Famous. Out of Quint Glory, who's by Lanes Linster, Victory Farms, the breeder of VF Born for Glory. They stand 17605-1760. Pink buckle. It is like 
8 p.m. I think I'm gonna run in about an hour. So I just got crowd ready. Uh, it's a little bit of a walk over to the arena from the stalls, so I wanted to be ready a little ahead of time. Yeah, and we're cuddling in front of the fan because it is very humid. Yeah, there's my boy. <laughs> I'm wearing my Miami Vice air conditioned shirt. Thank God for these shirts because it is a million degrees. Next work, VF Born for Glory, aren't we all? Maddie Stoltman, Ellensburg, Washington. Old city of a huge PRCA rodeo with WPRA Bill Racing. Maddie Stoltman, owner, rider. Victory Farms, Ada, Oklahoma, the breeder, 17605 in round one. VF Born for Glory is by Born to be Famous, out of Quint Glory, who's by Lane's Linster, the 2013 Buckskin Gelding. 17, 727, and 17. We're all done. We ran a 17, 7 today. Oh, I got my horse back. I could cry, I'm so happy. He walked in the gate, both runs, tried his heart out. We've hardly been able to crack into the 17s this year. Um, Claude's been battling some issues, and I've been trying and trying and trying to figure it out. And here we go, and he runs, walks in the gate, and then runs a 17, 6 and a 17, 7 back to back. I could not be happier. Um, we are sitting in a good spot for the 3D day money right now, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, I think I will end up in the bottom of the 2D for the average, so probably not going to place there, but I'm really hoping that we take home a check today in the day money, so stay tuned. I took no more video last night because I was way too excited, but Claude and I are coming home almost $8,000 richer. That is by far the biggest check I've ever won. <laughs> so I'm over the moon excited. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, I'm very, very grateful. Very really excited that we came down here and this made it all worth it. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited. I got no words. Well, that was the pink buckle. Oh my God, what an experience. I'm so, so excited to go back next year. 100% um, worth the drive. Um, obviously the win <laughs> made it a whole lot more worth it, but I would want to go back regardless. They had such a great event. The ground was amazing. The facility was unbelievable. It was so well run and it was a ton of fun. Rachel and I had a really, really good time. And so did the dogs, I think. Um, but it was definitely worth going down there for. I highly recommend if you have a horse that um, is eligible to run, go to the race. It is so worth it. Um, we had an amazing time. I got to see a couple of my friends as well. I got to see my friend Dallas, who I went to college with. Um, he lives in Oklahoma City now, so we went for lunch. And then I got to see my friend Colin as well. Um, and it's kind of like the running joke because Colin was always fixing everything for me in college. Um, whenever my truck would break down or I'd break something, Thing on my trailer he was my go-to call to help me fix it and of course we invite Colin to go to breakfast when we were driving through Colorado and we hit a flat tire when we pulled into the parking lot so it's like some things never change um, but we got all fixed up it was a long day yesterday um, with a flat tire and having to get that dealt with and then we actually had to detour a little bit through Colorado because some of the highways in Wyoming were closed because of high winds um, so it was a long day yesterday but we are going to be home today I'm so excited um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all the kind comments about Claude and my win. Um, it's really, really cool to have support from all of you guys, especially the ones I've never met. You guys are awesome. Um, and those of you that I have, thank you so much. Um, anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel.